I, it's been some discussions recently about um, chord books and things and how people like to keep their their songs and so on. I know lots of people keep uh, paper folders and keep all their songs in a paper folder. For me, I'm not so keen on that. Um, the problem is you lose the folder and um, and it's gone. You've lost it. I like to keep things electronically and keep them backed up. Um, so you could obviously keep all your songs on the computer and print them out. Um, I use a program called On Song. Runs on an iPad. And um, just thought to show you that here. So I'll just start the iPad. On here, uh, you've got the program On Song. Press that, and there you go. It goes straight into um, the last song that I was looking at. And I can scroll up and down and and so on. It highlights the chords for me. So this is just a simple one that's A minor, F C G, round and round. You can add as many songs as you like, as far as I know, anyway, into um, on song. So I've got a whole list of, of songs here. Um, let's find uh, let's find well, I don't know. Let's find one of my songs. So you can sort by songs, as you can see the list there. I can click on by artist, so I can look at all the various artists that I've got there. Um, so we'll just, for sake of having a look, we'll look at one of my songs, and there's a song, Innuendo. Um, so I just click on that, and um, there's the song. So you can see it starts up in the top right, it says key of A, it's got the title, it's got the artist, and then the chords and so on and um, you can see all the various verses there. One of the nice things is you can set the duration of the song so this is probably about three minutes long and I press play and it just auto scrolls so you haven't got to flip pages or anything like that it just scrolls up if you find you're singing it a bit faster you can just touch the screen and scroll it up quickly um, or you can go back and then it will just carry on scrolling. Um, for things like the chords, you can choose to have them highlighted in different colours. So I can have them in blue, green, uh, whatever. I can actually highlight them with a background if I want. I prefer not to, to have that and I like them in red generally. You can also, this is really neat, is you can transpose the song into different keys. So this one's written in A, so, but there I've transposed it now to F. Um, and. Uh, so you can choose all the various chords you like or you're comfortable with um, and uh, there we go so the other thing you can do of course is edit the song so this comes up in a standard text format uh, there's other ways of editing this you can actually synchronize all your songs on Dropbox and what I do is I synchronize them on Dropbox and then I can go in and edit them on my computer um, so I can edit the text files with a proper keyboard and so on. Um, but you can just go in here and you can see the formats at the top. So the first line is the title, the second line is the artist. And then you can set other things like um, like the duration of the song, um, the flow of the song. So there you'll see it says V1C, V2C, blah, blah, and so on. And you'll see on the verses it says verse 1, colon, and that defines V1. It basically takes, I think, the first and last letter. Um, to make it different you can see the chorus so I've only written the chorus in here once so by putting in flow whoops, um, then I get V1C, V2C and it just puts the chorus on the actual song as we go um, and then I've got a uh, end and you'll see the E at the end of the flow there uh, you can put a copyright in the duration there is that, um, is that flow time uh, you can choose to have the chords, if I go back on uh, here, I can, I can choose to rewrite it into a key here. Um, I can also do uh, other things. There we go, I can have them as bracketed chords. Um, that's, sorry, that's in the format of the song. I can have bracketed chords. Um, so it will it will convert from a song if you've already got it in text format with bracketed chords you can do that and then it will display them with chords over the top uh, you'll notice it also puts chord charts at the bottom that's uh, somewhere deep in the settings you can choose uh, whether those are, are shown and so on so display settings 
you can oh, there's so many things you can set on here um, you can also choose uh, and I don't know where it is because I don't change it very much um, but you can choose the chords for ukulele, guitar, um, mandolin, all sorts of things. So, uh, might even be in song format. There we go, instrument. So there's your different instruments. It doesn't have um, baritone ukulele, bit of a shame. Um, but you can set all of those. You can also set the chords to appear over the um, the chord charts to appear over your words in the song if you want. Um, you can do other things. Let's go back to here. Let's go up to first. We take Manhattan. That's an example of quite a complex song that I've done. So here, because I've put, if you see at the top, we've got black male, red female, yellow both. So it's arranged for two singers and. Uh, you can see I've added in words in red um, and then there's a section where they're, they're in yellow so that's why I've got the chords on this one in, in blue and you can so you can set the colours uh, you'll see in here you've got ampersand red and then the words so you can do so, all sorts of stuff I can um, if I click the share button I can export it as a PDF I can print it I can email it so I can send songs to other people um, and there we go. So one of the features as I say is Dropbox. I can synchronize with Dropbox and it goes online and it will then see what songs it needs to synchronize and uh, go on and synchronize those. So if I write them on something else they'll copy onto here. If I write them on here they'll copy onto Dropbox. Um, one thing, slight uh, bug if you like, is um, you'll see sometimes there's one or two songs, Golden Brown there for example appears twice you delete it and because it's on Dropbox it copies it back again so some it gets a bit complicated sometimes getting rid of songs but um, adding songs certainly is uh, no problem at all so uh, there you go, quick tour of Onsong um, as I say it all backs up to Dropbox if I lost my iPad it's all there on Dropbox I'll just get another iPad it actually synchronizes to my phone so I've got all of this on my phone as well so in an emergency I can use the phone and uh, Onsong available on the App Store it's about £10 I think but uh, certainly one of the best apps I've got uh, on the iPad cheers mm -hmm.